your favorite nighttime DJ Pixelated Twix starting off a rainy Monday night here in the city. I hope you're out there being safe whether it's a cup of joe with your friends or you're snuggled up listening to cassette tapes. Try to balance out his love life and speaking of potential relationships the dial tone tells us what time it is. That's right ladies pick up those iPhones or Androids and let your fingers do the talking. I want to hear from you and so does tonight's bachelor. He's been hanging out with me for the past half hour, and I've had the pleasure of getting to know him and his beautiful little girl, Isabel. Yes, I didn't stutter. You heard me correctly. Ethan with the Y Romano is a package deal. As a single father and a widower of four years, he feels it's time to get back into the dating scene. Now, ladies, go easy on him. Keep it cute. Keep it clean, but your best foot forward because you only have a few moments to impress this tall drink of water. He may look like a Ken doll, but he's far from looking for Barbie. No plastics for him. He wants someone who is genuine, loving, able to give her heart and time not only to him, but also his little girl. His perfect someone must also enjoy being active and love the outdoors as he spends most of his holidays at the family cabin in Granite Falls. Do you see a romantic evening spent by the bonfire and s'mores in your future? If so, Ethan and I would love to hear from you. Our lines will be open right after Ashton Edminster tells us how hard long-distance relationships really can be. I am really enjoying these cast videos, you guys. I love the form and I hope you're enjoying them too. I know I ask this every time I do this, but I really want to know uh, what you guys are liking or uh, if you'd like to see some additional changes, not necessarily changes, but some additions to the format. Um, or if you have some ideas for a particular guy you'd love to see, uh, let me know. I don't always know what type of person to create. It takes me a minute to really think about um, The Bachelor and his story, his background, because I just don't want to slap something up here. I really do think out the story. All right, that being said, my name is Pixelated Twix. If you didn't get that before, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, you know the deal. Welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. Now, a little bit about Ethan. The things that I didn't mention about him in his quote unquote interview, he is an architect and he's pretty far along in his career. So I believe I have him set as an urban architect. So they deal with like parks, recreation, things like that. And being a father, that's really important to him because he's taken his kid to parks in the city and uh, the swings are torn down or missing. Um, some of the slides are rusty, things like that. So he wants to try to revitalize the city the neighborhoods in San Myshuno are important to him and yes he is a native San Myshunoan I didn't mention that um he was married to his wife who has passed away for oh I want to say about six years and um she of course had Isabel and um she passed away four years ago so he's been a single father and it's been a struggle for him she's she dealt with Isabel you know being a mother she dealt primarily primarily with her daughter not to say that he wasn't involved uh quite the contrary he was fully involved as a father but there are just things that a mother um provides for her daughter that a father can't 
or may struggle with. So like doing her hair, shopping for clothes, and he doesn't quite know what to buy her. So she ends up uh, looking quite interesting sometimes, um, but he's trying to get it together and he's learning. He definitely um, asks women at, at work for uh, advice and some of the single father is there too, uh, but he's definitely looking for someone that is willing to take that spot and help him out and be his helpmate, a partner, a best friend, and helping rear his daughter. Now, he does want more kids because his main goal is to be a super parent um, and the best parent possible. So potential additions to the family are in the future uh, if the woman is ready and willing, I should hope so. Uh, Isabel wants a little brother or a little sister and right now he can't give that to her. He can't provide it to her. Um, and so she of course doesn't understand why but he wants to provide the best for his daughter. So um, that is why he works extra hard and will be extra cautious in his dating choices. Not to say that he won't be all in. He's definitely ready for dating. He just wants to make sure that he's making the right choice. He's going to be extremely calculated when it comes to uh, finding the right person for him and his daughter. And yes, he will involve his daughter in the uh, in his choice. Not that she's going to tell him who or who not to date, but he'll ask, you know, what did you think about her when he's ready to bring her, uh, when I say her, the person that he's with around because he won't introduce uh, his child or do introduce his girlfriend to his child right away. He wants to make sure that she's definitely uh the right one and if she's going to stick because he doesn't want anyone being a revolving door in Isabel's life. That is his number one concern is that his daughter is taken care of and then um, his dating life. So the person that he dates will have to be completely open and understanding. That's why I said 100% genuine, because it's going to take a lot of patience to get to know this guy, to somewhat break the ice and, um, you know, to fully allow you into his world, if that makes any sense. I hope so. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is what my fourth bachelor is it for? I can't count. Uh, yes. So this is my fourth bachelor. I'm hoping to do more of these. Um, definitely looking at bachelorettes in the future, but we're just going to have fun with the guys. That's all we're here for is to have some fun. That's it. <laughs> I mean, we have a purpose, right? Um, I definitely want to tell a story and give you some ideas for storytelling in your own gameplay. Maybe, I don't know. I hope you guys are enjoying these bachelors. I really do. Um, of course he will be up on the gallery for down load. His daughter is going to be attached. Of course, I didn't do a separate cast video for her because I didn't think that you would want to see it. And I didn't want to extend this video any longer than it should be. But I do have some end screenshots for her um, as per usual, like I do. Um, and of course, any CC links will be included in the description box on a Google Doc. If anything's missing, you guys let me know. Um, I will let uh, definitely make sure I update. Also, if there's something that you saw in the video, like uh, a top or some pants or something uh, that you saw that I clicked through and you're interested in that particular item, let me know. Also, are you interested in a CC haul? I have never done one of those. Um, I'm thinking that it may take forever for me to actually do one. But what do you think? Should we do something like that? Um, let me know. We'll do it if if I have time. Um, but I, I will try to make that happen. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this cast video. Uh, but before I leave you, if you're not a member of the family and you'd love to be, I'd love to have you. So you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and the bell, the bell notification so you know every time I upload. I will talk to you guys later and until next time I love you. Ciao.